If you've never photographed a wedding in 90 plus degree heat with 90% humidity, then you just don't know if you're ready for a hot wedding day. Today, we're sharing our four pro tips for how to make a really hot wedding day go just a little bit more smoothly. But before we jump into that, we want to introduce ourselves. I'm Hunter. And I'm Sarah. And we're Hunter and Sarah Photography, a husband and wife professional wedding photography team. But we're also educators, and our goal is to help photographers to build strong foundations in both their businesses and in their personal lives so that they can build profitable and sustainable photography businesses. So before we jump into this week's content, we just want to remind you one more time in case you missed it that last month we finished up our post-production secrets video series, which covered everything from, you know, downloading the photos from your camera to your computer, all the way through the end of the process of delivering your final edited photos to your clients. So if you missed that, feel free to go back and check out that six part series. Also, if you aren't already a member, we would encourage you to join our free community, Mastering the Wedding Photography Biz with Hunter and Sarah on Facebook. And yeah, that's onto our wedding tips for a hot day. So it's no secret that here in Virginia, where Sarah and I live, that it can get hot in the summer. And we have had days from mid April all the way through like middle of October, where there have been, you know, 90 plus degree days. And of course, all summer long, it can just be brutally hot. And with, you know, that high humidity that we just, we know and we love in the American Southeast, a wedding photographer just really needs to know how to handle themselves on a hot wedding day. So today we're gonna give you our four, our four hot tips on how to get the most out of a hot wedding day. I knew you were gonna say that. Um, <laughs> so tip number one, and this is gonna sound familiar if you saw our video from a couple weeks ago on rain, but tip number one is set expectations with your couple. So if you only learn one thing from this you know, entire video, it should be this. If it looks like temperatures are going to be high on your upcoming wedding day, it can never hurt to reach out to the couple and discuss expectations. So we mentioned this a couple weeks ago in our six tips for shooting in a rainy wedding day, but most conflict, and by conflict that can also include customer disappointment, comes from missed expectations. So really just opening that line of communication and discussing with your couple can really help ease the stress, make sure you guys are on the same page going into the day and just generally lead to better outcomes on a hot wedding day. Yeah, so for starters, you wanna gauge their comfort level just with the heat. You know, in all likelihood, if they booked their wedding during the hottest months of the summer, they kind of knew that hot weather on their wedding day was like high likelihood. <laughs> but if it is going to be one of those like freak days in April where it's going to be 95 degrees or, you know, if it's late into the fall yet for some reason the hot and the humid have just stuck around, then it's important to kind of acknowledge that with them. And then, um, of course, on days where the temperature is going to be dangerously high, uh, you should really discuss them like, hey, are there going to be any adjustments to the plan or the timeline? Yeah. So, you know, on those dangerously high heat wedding days, you know, even in the shade, it can be dangerous to spend too long outside when those temperatures, you know, accounting for the heat index are above the body temperature of 96 degrees. So if the day is calling for, you know, 100 degree heat or more, you may want to start discussing with your clients what parts of the day they want to move inside. So, you know, if they have elderly relatives, should they maybe move the whole ceremony inside? And another thing that can change with a hot wedding day is what we call sort of our like in and out strategy. So we mentioned in the rain video how we will, on a rainy day, we'll maybe bring the couple outside like the minute it stops raining we'll shoot until it starts raining again and then we'll kind of rush them back inside to keep them dry kind of similar but different on a hot wedding day yeah so maybe we'll head outside on a hot wedding day for the first look and to capture some you know beautiful shaded portraits of the shaded. couple shaded uh, and then we'll pull everyone back inside to cool down and rehydrate before we go back outside to capture the wedding party you know likewise we'll make sure we give them plenty of time to go back inside and cool down before the ceremony uh, if their ceremony is going to be outside now Obviously, if we're going to be pulling them in and out and then giving them kind of longer periods of rest inside, then that's gonna affect the timeline a little bit. So either, you, you kind of have three options as the photographer, right? You either, one, need to work way more quickly and efficiently, Two, you're gonna capture just fewer images because you're gonna spend more time resting. Or three, you're gonna to have to add time into the timeline to count for that you know, five minutes here and 10 minutes here that you're gonna spend coming in and out and just letting your couple sort of cool down. Um, but honestly, it can make a big difference, but you need to discuss that with them in advance. That's what we talk about when it comes to setting expectations, right? Do they wanna to aim to stay cooler, but maybe have fewer photos, or do they just wanna embrace the heat and have the biggest gallery of images possible? Yeah. 
Tip number two is how to actually prepare for a hot wedding day. So unfortunately, there is only so much you can really do ahead of a hot wedding day to really prepare. However, one thing that you can do is actually stay hydrated the day before the wedding. So when you stay hydrated the day before a wedding, you will actually retain a little bit more water as you're actually out in the heat and running around like crazy. So if you know that tomorrow is gonna be, you know, really hot, really humid day, and you're gonna do a lot of sweating, make sure that you drink lots of water, you avoid alcohol, alcohol, fried foods, sugary drinks, like all those sorts of things that are going to dehydrate you, not just the day of the wedding, but even the day before. So you can really perform your best on the wedding day. Yeah. Something else, we actually recommend that you bring a small washcloth or a towel um, that you can put somewhere on your person to help keep your subjects dry. You know, if their face or maybe their hairline is just like kind of covered in sweat, it's not going to look great in the final image. So as you can see in this image here, I will sometimes have like a, you know, a small hand towel or something either maybe hanging from my back pocket or, you know, Sarah might strap it to her uh, camera harness. And this is helpful on really hot days. Um, so Brittany and Eric, who you see here, they were only in town for one weekend. So even though it was gonna be like 95 degrees with 95% humidity, this was the only opportunity that we had to photograph their engagement session. So that orange towel hanging from my pocket basically became Eric's sweat rag. I mean, this poor dude was sweating like crazy from the top of his head, even though we did almost the entire session in the shade. So as the water, the sweat would run down, you know, into his forehead and his eye, it was just, so literally like every time we would go from one pose to another, I would just run in and just kind of like dap the forehead a little bit to make sure that he still looked good in his photos. And all the more on wedding days where you might be outside for even longer, maybe wearing heavier outfits, you know, three piece suit, heavy wedding dresses, etc. cetera. Yeah. But finally, for you, make sure that you have a lightweight and breathable but professional outfit laid out in advance to just minimize how much you sweat on the yeah. wedding day. I usually wear, you know, a lightweight dress with pockets for our really hot wedding days. And to be honest, I do this for most of our wedding days, but especially for the hot ones, I exclusively wear one of the suits that I have from a company called Ministry of Supply. Now, I will be the very first person to admit that their dress shirts and their suits are expensive, but they are basically made out of the same sort of like breathable and also machine washable and wrinkle proof material that your like workout t-shirts are made from. So they are super lightweight, very breathable, which makes them perfect for a day where you need to stay cool, but also look very professional. Yeah. Tip number three is how to protect yourself from the heat on a hot wedding day. So if you are anything like Sarah, then sunscreen is going to be a very important part of your camera bag on a hot wedding day. So, High SPF. Yeah, so if you are wearing any sort of clothing that is gonna leave some of your skin exposed, just make sure that you lather up, you know, arms, legs, whatever, in addition to, you know, obviously your face and your neck so that, uh, you know, in at least once a day, maybe again, you know, before the ceremony sort of thing. Because honestly, as you can see in this image, there are a lot of times where in order to keep your couple and your subject cool and shaded, you may have to just stand in direct sunlight and just get totally blasted by the heat. Yeah. And while Hunter bronzes beautifully, <laughs> I burn also spectacularly. Yeah, that's a fact. So make sure you have that SPF. Um, but also make sure that you have plenty of snacks and plenty of water on hand. Hydrate or dehydrate is the motto. We were actually at a wedding early in our career that did not have safe drinking water on site. So Th the that's, that's a whole other story. Yeah, don't but... ask about that. <laughs> um, so the couple was actually responsible for providing enough water for the entire wedding. However, this August wedding day was almost 100 degrees. So the entire wedding ran out of water when there was still like several hours left in dancing, the groom's dad ended up, you know, leaving the wedding to purchase, you know, a few dozen additional water bottles and those also ran out. Like we're talking left his son's wedding halfway through dancing to drive 15, 20 minutes each way to a grocery store to buy just like cases of bottled water. Uh, it was a mess, but that experience has taught us that basically you can never assume that there will be, you know, plenty of safe and nearby drinking water on a wedding day. So ever since then, Sarah and I will just bring, you know, basically one of those like reusable grocery bag type canvas bags and just fill it with every reusable water bottle we have just filled with ice water. Um, and we do that really on most wedding days, but especially on hot days, we literally might go through all five, you know, big kind of metal 32 ounce water bottles. Yeah, so those, our five water bottles end up, I think being almost a gallon of water. So we can stay hydrated all day long without running back and forth to a catering kitchen or anything like that. And 
We also make sure that we have, you know, snacks on hand just to keep calories in us that we can snack on during those down moments. You know, high temperature and the sun can really take it out of you. And, you know, as, as if photographing a 10 hour <laughs> wedding day wasn't enough to take it out of you, even something as simple as water and a snack can, can just help you perform your absolute best on a wedding day. Yeah, totally can make the difference. Um, so finally, and again, this is just like on rainy wedding days, our tip number four is just be flexible and be ready to serve your couple on that day. Yeah. Last summer, we had a wedding in the Washington, D.C. area that was slated to be pretty... It was supposed to be a brutal day, brutal. you know. When we one. arrived at the venue in the morning, it was already over 90 degrees. And, you know, to top it off, rain was potentially in the forecast. So it was humid. It was... Soupy. Soupy is, could I think, the cut correct word. The air. <laughs> you just cut it with a knife. Um... But we were prepared with lightweight, breathable outfits. We had plenty of snacks, plenty of water, and we had already discussed our options with our couple, Denise and Eber, beforehand. Yeah. So they and their families were ready to embrace the heat, and we just did our best to keep their first look and all of their portraits in the shade, and then we rushed them inside when that rain finally did start. So throughout the day, we you know brought them in and out to help them cool down between shots. We had our assistant ready with bottles of water for Denise and Eber, kind of at any moment that they wanted them. And we adjusted the timeline on the fly because of the rain and the heat. We, did, and we ended up doing more of their portraits during golden hour because we knew it was going to be cooler. And honestly, it was just like kind of a crazy high temperature, hectic, crazy day. It did end up raining. I mean, there's a the whole thing. And... In the end, Denise and Eber absolutely love not just their wedding images, but they left us this really great review all about how we like served them on the wedding day and gave them a good experience. And honestly, I cannot tell you at this point, seriously couldn't even count how many wedding days we've shot where it has been 90 plus degree. And, you know, although that sort that sort of attitude is just part of how we, you know, love and serve every wedding couple, and it's the attitude that we tell our students they should also have when they approach a wedding day, uh, it's even more important on a hot wedding day. Yeah, very few people love being outside in that kind of heat. Um, so if your presence can be like a bright and positive presence that's bringing, you know, good energy and good vibes to the day, you can be part of what makes a hot wedding day just a little bit better, as opposed to just, you know, another negative or complaining voice on the their wedding day. We got married in a very hot wedding day and I love it when people tell me how much fun they had at my wedding. I like it less when the first thing they say is, man, that day was hot. Like we know we were there. But uh, so, and something really important to keep in mind, and this is with hot wedding days, this is with every wedding day, how you make your couple feel is almost as important as the how you actually make them look with their images because the way you make them feel when you're with them they're gonna associate those feelings with their images, no matter how good or bad their images are. So just being a positive presence is so important on a hot wedding day. But that's it for this week. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We really hope that this video has helped you as you start to think about how you'll prepare for your next super hot wedding day. Yeah, and if you haven't already, we would really, really, really encourage you to join our free Facebook community, Mastering the Wedding Photography Biz with Hunter and Sarah. Uh, in that group, we're building you know, a free community of other photographers who are also building their photography businesses and just supporting each other along the way. So as you are watching this video, if you're watching it right when it came out, we are actually off. We are doing some personal travel in the month of June. So this is going to be, uh, there's not gonna be another video next week, but in uh, two weeks, we will be posting the third video in this sort of weather related series uh and then later this summer plan to uh potentially get back to every week videos yeah. but um so make sure you like subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when our next video comes out yeah. and if you found this video helpful if you have any questions or if you'd like to add anything that you feel like we missed feel free to just comment below yeah we know that virginia is not the hottest <laughs> uh weddings we know y'all some texas photographers out there who get it but um guys thank you so much we will see you next week